Welcome to Deal of Tech 101 as I discuss information technology, also known as IT. In today's episode, we're going to terminate a data cable today by placing our keystone jack onto the other end of this cable. If you watched last week's video, I went through the tutorial of showing you how to do the male end. Now I'm going to show you how to do what we call the female end, which is the CAT6 at the time of this video, RJ45 keystone jack cable. So I'm going to show you how to terminate this. So one of the first things that I like to do is I like to make sure that I go ahead and cut my cable the way that I need to. So just for the sake of today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a clean cut. All right, now that I got my clean cut here, you can look at the cable, you can tell here that it's cut a little bit, definitely neater than what it normally is. And I'm going to go ahead and get this in here so I can go ahead and terminate the other end. We give that a spin. Going to break it. Now that that's broken, we're going to go ahead and spread out the different pairs of cable here. I want to look at my keystone jack. Now on the keystone jack, you have two sides. You have your T568A and your T568B. The side I'm going to be using is my, it's my B side here. So depending on how your connections are going to be terminated, it's going to determine which side that you're going to use. And there's a couple of different components in here. You have two of these little cover pieces that will go on top of the cable once we terminate them. And this right here is the keystone jack itself. You see the color codes are on the sides. So there you go so that you can see it. So the bottom side I'm going to be doing B. So what this means is you have your orange, orange white, green, green white, and then on the other side, we'll have blue white, blue, brown white, brown. So let's go ahead and get our colors together. So we have our green and our blue. So for here, and I'm going to do an old school today. I normally use the the untwisting tool that I have and do the blue so I have my green untwisted I'm going to untwist it towards the bottom put that aside I'm going to have my blue right here all right so one of the first things I want to do is make sure that my green white green is going to go here and the cable when you put these in here you don't want your cable hanging out like this far you want it to kind of be a little bit onto there just a bit so we have our green right here I'm going to flip to the opposite side where I have my blue. I'm going to put the blue down. We have blue, white, blue.
And what I like to do, just to make sure my cables are held down, I'm not going to terminate just yet. I'm going to just kind of make sure it's kind of firm in there. What, so I'd like to take my punch down tool. On your punch down tool, make sure that the cut side, as you can see it, it's going to be the little bit taller side. And then the side that's, that's going to be a little bit shorter, it's going to be on the inside of this. So as you're cutting, you don't want to cut like with this way down. You want to cut, make sure that the cutting piece is on the outside of the cabling. I'm just going to use this to press down on the wire and just kind of get it snugged in there until I'm ready to terminate because I like to be sure that the color codes fit accordingly. For the sake of today's video, I'm just moving a little bit slower because I want you all to be able to follow along. All right, now that I have those two green, white, green, blue white blue now I can do my orange so I have orange white orange and I'm just going to just push just a little bit and then last but not least the brown white brown I'm just going to push down in there just a little bit to tuck it in there. Now I want to make sure orange, orange, white, green, green, white, brown, brown, white, blue, blue, white. Now that I know that it's in there correctly, now I'm ready to terminate my cable. Now the impact, you want to either low or high just for and to protect my table here. Want to make sure that's on low. And I'm just going to take something here that I can place this on top of. I'm just going to use my little, uh -oh, use my little coaster here because I don't want to destroy my desk. And the sound is going to pop a little bit, so you're going to hear it. And then on the opposite side, I'm going to flip my cutter over. And please make sure to not stab yourself in the hand with your fingers because it will hurt. And you're just going to twist a little bit to move the cabling off. Then you're gonna look at it again, make sure you're all set so you can see the wiring there. You definitely wanna cut this piece off here so it has some scissors around. You see that this right here is kinda of a little bit flush right there, just a tad bit on the inside of this. And that's a clean cut there. So that way when you're ready to plug in your cables from last week, if you went through the video, you'll be able to take, this part is normally on the wall and this is normally like a data cable that you will buy or you make and it basically fits in there like that. Pull the tab up a little bit and then it will lock into there. Unlock it. So that right there is just a demonstration of how to terminate a Cat6 RJ45 Keystone Jack and you can go back on the video and learn how to do the other end that I did last week. And that wraps up today's video, people. Like, listen, subscribe, DevTech101 and Katie Black Mantle. Look forward to bringing more content to you all soon.